and easy seated. Just find your breath, close your eyes, maybe turn your palms up. Take three breaths here, that's your intention. Lifting your chest up, beginning to activate the navel. Or having some focus onto it. Keeping that beautiful smile you have. And then gently turn the hands. You can keep the eyes soft still and put them on the knees and let's just begin a spinal flex here, easing into. This week has gone by so fast. I'm sick, yeah. It's like Monday and now it's Friday. <laughs> so just hang out where you think you might need a little more wiggle around. Just get the sticky stuff out and then move into a supus grind. Same thing. Just take your time. If you want to go back and forth, just working through the hips. Yeah, Jennifer may not be able to do the event tonight at Heritage Park. So keep your, keep your eyes open if you were going to go and see if the location changes. And then just come to stillness. Let's spider finger out. Lift, scoop up, reach up, press the shoulders down. Tuck the hips in and let the legs just release onto the mat. Straighten the arms. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. So every twist is on the exhale. Every inhale is the lengthening. And roll your eyes. And back around, spider fingers out with the hands. Scoop. With control, feel the activation in the arms. Reach up, inhale, get that fire in the belly. Exhale, twist to the right. Roll the eyes. Lengthen, lengthen, and then twist. And come back around gently. Let's just... Slide our fingers forward, fingers wide open, just wiggling down close to the floor. Walk the hands over to the left. Maybe the right hand comes over the left if you're warm enough already or just get there in degrees. Sweep over to the right. And back to the middle. See if you go a little lower. And drag the hands all the way back up. Place them in your lap any way you want. And let's just do some neck opening. Nodding up and down, yes. Remember to bring that breath in deep. Exhale, parted lips. And head to neutral and turn right to left as if you're saying no, no thank you. No, no judgment, it's not good for me. I choose only things that lift me up. And then circles, half circles. Just listening to your neck. Maybe roll back and forth over one shoulder and then the other. And then come up. Let's go ahead and take the left hand spider finger out and the right hand can gently 
as the left shoulder lowers, the right hand is gently encouraging the neck to stretch to the right. Lift the chest up, align the body. Put the Kegel muscle in there. Work on that pelvic floor too. Another breath here. And then release the hand and gently come up. If you want to do a little shoulder movement or anything before you reach out with the right hand, spider fingers, left hand around, taping inside. Straighten the body, tucking the hips in, lower the right shoulder, gently encouraging the stretch of the neck. One more breath here, lift the chest. Exhale, release, down, good. Tabletop. Let's find your, get your groove on here before we do some pads and cows. Organic, ring style. And then move into your cats and cows. So we open back up soon. And come back into tabletop. Let's take that right leg back. Press those toes. Just wake those toes up. Reach out with the left foot. Left, left hand, excuse me, right foot lifts up now. Right leg, activate it, flex and point, reach. Really feel the stretch. And then let's do six crunches. And bend and reach for that foot, lift up. Finding a little back bend here. Release, reach, 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 and come back down. Left foot goes back. Press those toes, wake that foot up. Right foot comes out. Lift that leg up slowly. Furniture has been a constant aggravation. And crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. And reach and grab that foot, lifting up. Release down, stretch. And come down. Just wiggle this out. And let's move the hands around the mat. Open up those wrists. Maybe on the back of the hand too. Come back up, tuck your toes under and let's sit back on them. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and take a stretch around with the right arm, holding, trying to reach and touch. So for a few breaths, opening up the shoulders here. And release and try the other arm. This side is really different for me. And three breaths here. Sink in as you're opening. And release, tap it out. Yay. And let's just thread the needle while we're down here. So Starting with the left hand, inhale, reach up, really feel the separation, opening up the shoulder blades, open up the chest, bring the breath in. Exhale, thread it through, slide that right hand up, really get those lymph nodes going. And anything active you want to do here, lifting your leg, holding your foot, maybe even lift the left foot while you have the right leg out. 
dragging the foot, just anything you want to do while I'm here. Make it as fun and active as you want. Couple more breaths. Next inhale, dragging that right hand down, left slides under, inhale, reaching up, dancing with breath and movement, exhale, hand down, wiggle it out. Moving to the right side, inhale, right hand up, reach, twist, stretch, open the chest, exhale, bring it through, same thing, this side, and then lift, if you want to pump the left leg, stretch out, lift up the left hand, reach back at the foot, maybe lift up the right foot, little balance challenge, make it fun, three more breaths, And sliding that left hand down, inhale, bring that right hand all the way up. Yay, bring it down, tuck those toes in, press back, nice big inhale, firm, strong hands on the mat, arms, exhale, downward facing dog. Just stay here for a little while, walking it out, waking the legs up. Adjusting your feet as your legs and muscles get warmer. Sorry, I don't know that, but I do have a school. Alexa, in my head. stop. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, wave forward. In the plank. You Adjust. think by now she doesn't know all the yoga commands. Right? <laughs> and what did I say that sounded like her name, which I'm not going to say because she'll just come back? Right. So, Make sure your heels are pressing back. And let's just do a couple of push-ups, maybe three. Three is still a couple, right? <laughs> and press back into downward facing dog. Walk it out. Let's inhale the right leg up. Press the left heel down, square the hips. Breathe into that leg when the hips are square and we're pushing that Heel down the left leg. You're going to really feel a lot of heat building in that leg. Up and down. Get it oxygen. And then bend and stack. Open up. Square the shoulders. Roll the ankle or the foot. Bring that leg back up. And place it behind around on the other side of that foot. So, Right leg comes around and under the left and walk it back up. Just stay in the nice fold here, stretching out that right, you do a lot of the right. Walk the hands around to the right side. Lean back if you want, lean over. Just going where you feel you need to do some work. And then walk the hands over to the other side. And walk back to the front. Walk this hand back to down the facing dog. Lift that right leg all the way up. Come forward into a one three legged, excuse me, a three. Yeah, one legged chaturanga. <laughs> My brain, I told you, the facts are feeling the breeze. Walk it back. All the way up. Release, foot down, walk it out. Maybe take a half lift, leg to the back, press the shoulders back, get that navel in this. And let's walk it back out to plate. Do three chaturanga. Push ups. And walk it back to down the facing dog. This time, inhale, left leg up. Press that right one down. Heel to mat. Square the hips. With each breath, you may be able to open more. And then bend and stack. Roll the ankle. See if you can open up more. Good. 
bring that leg all the way up and bring it down on the other side of the right foot and walk your hands back. And just stay here, let the legs warm up a little bit. Walk your hands around to the left. And just smooth around. Find some opening in the leg and the hips. Walk your hands around to the other side. So cool. And then lift that leg up, walk it out, one-legged plank, <laughs> Tadaranga, maybe two, walk it back up, all the way, and bring it down, picture frame your face and just hang here, swaying in the breeze. Let's release the hands. Open up those feet, hip width, and take the peace fingers and hold onto the big toes. Gently pulling the chest toward the thighs, the knees. Micro bending, whatever you need to protect yourself. Keep the core, flex those muscles. Let's see those peace buttons. And release and inhale, bring it up one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and hands come up last. Roll the shoulders up and around and down. Up and down and down and back the other way, reversing. And let's inhale and bring the hands all the way up. Maybe the left thumb is over the right. Take a big next inhale and stretch up, shoulders down, and then reaching over to the right and then standing half the loop. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, other side. Reach and stretch, open the chest up. And come back up. Release it and shake it out. Maybe a little running, bouncing out. And let's walk, meet at the top of the mat. Let's do three, uh, four, four sun A's. So we'll break the first one down and then the last three. You will do inhale to sky in gratitude. Exhale through forehead, through peace, all the way to earth. Sharing that connection and gratitude. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands. Maybe step back with the right foot. Holding plank here. Let's do three chaturanga push-ups here. One, two, three. And inhale, and then press back into down the facing dog. Walk it out some more. And let's just lower those elbows down and then come up. Let's do this six times. Down and up, down. Good for the triceps. Inhale, look at the hands on your exhale. Just walk it forward. Inhaling, half lift. This chair has got to go. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up, reaching up. Exhale, Tadasana, just eyes closed, feeling energetic connection in the body. Bring the breath in. Revisiting your intention. We'll do three, Surya Namaskar A. I will start you and on your breath. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale. Three, four. Taking your time, really finding the integrity 
of the sun salutation. You're working on your last one, really pay attention. Lift into your body. Modify where you need. We'll meet into the asana. Eyes closed, take a couple of breaths here. Finding your grounding. And let's just ground our left foot in. We're gonna work on tree, right comes up wherever you want it. Gently take the leg to 90 degrees and bring it forward. Flex the foot, lift the knee, bring the core in. And bring the leg out high again. And let's tap it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then bend it again and take it to the side. So out to the right, good, lifting it up. Keep the core, open the chest. And stretch it out and tap six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it. And bend, and then bring it back through airplane or warrior three. This should feel like a, a break. <laughs> Just hang in there every every balance day. Every day is different for balance, oh my goodness. So we're gonna be slowly going back to crescent lunge. Whenever you're ready, letting that foot go back. And big in crescent. Let's do five dips. Five, four, three, two. One, hold it. And then release your hands down and lower the knee. Plant the foot down and let's do some splits prep. Take your time, especially on the first couple. Just moving through Hanumanasana. You can flex or point your foot. And when you're ready, just come to the top of the mat, wiggle that foot out, you know where we're going, dragon, lower down, breathe. Maybe five breath cycles here, opening up hips, and dragon. Gently lifting your body up, wiggle that left foot in, tuck that back toe in, come into runner's lunge. Bring your hands in prayer, inhale, and on the exhale, twisting, twisting low crescent. You want to open up. And back around. Place the hands down, bring that back foot up for pyramid. 
Just breathe here, more intense stretch in this left leg. Hands on hips, inhale, bring it up. Put the hands in reverse pair behind your back, fingertips up or down. Open up the shoulders, inhale, look up. Exhale, bring it down with control. See how close you can get your nose to your knee. Just breathe. Release the hands. Place the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Left hand on the hip. Can you find your balance? Find your grounding. Bend the knees as needed. Inhale. Bring it up. Evolved pyramid. Left hand up to the sky. Maybe you look up if you're working more on balance. Just trying to add new things. Exhale. Bring. The hand down, step the feet back, take a chaturanga. From down dog, inhale, look at your hands on your exhale, walk, step, jump, walk, look, half lift, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up and reach. Exhale, come through to dasana. Eyes closed, maybe do a little middle arm, bringing that parasympathetic nervous system. Love this one. Well, yoga brings in parasympathetic, but these really take it even more relaxing, grounding. The, le the left, the right foot this time, bring the left leg up. Woo, this side's. Challenging for me. Holding in tree. Align yourself. Activate the glutes. Navel's in the game. One more breath here and then we'll move into the other poses. Bringing the knee up 90 degrees. Holding here. A lot of strength, a lot of power in your legs and your glutes. Straighten the leg and tap. Could we do six? Yeah. Five. Okay, four. Yeah, we keep building. Three, two, one. And bring it back 90 degrees and then to the side. Hold it. And then straighten it out for six taps. Five, yes. Four. Three, two, one, lift it up, and bring it back in then 90 degrees, all the way to the back, in a warrior three, or airplane. We're gonna move into crescent lunge, but if your balance is rocking it, enjoy it. From crescent, let's do five dips. Five, four, three, two, one, hold it. And then placing the hands down, place the knee down, go into half splits here. Anamanasana on the right side. And just wiggle that foot out for dragon when you're ready. Maybe you want to slide that back leg more back so you get more opening. Just feel through what you think your options are and just challenge yourself a little bit when you feel like it. <sighs> Breathing. Two more breaths. Gently coming up out of this wiggle that foot in the center, back toes, tuck back, low lunge. And let's bring our hands in prayer. 
and then work on the twist, inhaling, exhale, twist to the right. Open up if you like. Placing hands down, straighten that back leg, coming into pyramid, hands on hips, inhale, bring it up. Finding that pose behind your back, the position, fingers up or down. Nice inhale, chest up, lifting to God, to sky, lowering, honoring earth. Breathing into this leg. Releasing the hands. You can always rub your leg if it's giving you a little more trouble. Place the left hand on the outside of the right foot hand. Right hand is on hip and then open up and twist. Exhale, place the hands down and step back, take vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, right leg up when you're there. Press back that left heel. See if you can open more than bend and stack. Open those hips and maybe flip. Come back around when you're ready. That leg up. Come up on your toes, knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Come up on your toes, knee, cross elbow, and hold it. Twist, hold it, hold it, bring it back up. Waving your shoulders over your wrist, bring that right foot in between the hands, back foot planted for warrior one. We're gonna hinge on the inhale, reaching, hinge, reach, and then scoop up, really feel those glutes. Sinking into warrior one. Release the hands behind you. Open, lift the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, come forward. Humble warrior, lifting, clasp hands. Releasing those hands. Inhale, scoop it back up to warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, take a vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up, open it, and then we stack, wiggling the foot around, flip if you like. And around. Bring that leg up, come up on your toes, bring your knee to your nose, exhale, crunch. Bring that leg back up, bring it cross elbow, hold it, hold it, hold it. Then bring that leg back up. Waving your shoulders over your wrists, left foot in between the hands. Spider fingers preparing to hinge on the breath. Hinging, reaching out. Put power in the feet and scoop up for your one. Exhale, release the hands, open the shoulders, bend in, sinking into humble warrior, rinsing the arms, going lower. You can get those shoulders open, breathe. Exhale, release the hands, scoop it back up, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, look at the hands on your exhale, bring it forward. Half lift, forward fold. All the way up, reaching. Exhale, release. Maybe a little more noodle. Inhale, 
and bringing the feet about, well, you know, in position for chair, because we're going to do chair. So toes may be a little together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink down. Find your chair. Hold it here. See if you can go lower. Hold it. Fire up the glutes. Press that navel in. Come all the way up, reach up. Hands in prayer. Sink down into chair. See if we can go low or maybe on your toes. Open your chest, shoulders. If you want to try a bind here, you can try. On either side. Come back in prayer and come up in chair, sink down. Inhale and exhale, twist to the right. Come back to the center. Inhale, exhale, twist to the other side. Come back to the center. Let's do eagle arms. So let's take the left arm on top and left leg lifts up and come back into crescent. And let's see if we can just fold here in crescent in eagle and then come up and reach up and do that three times, fold, come up, Reach up. You feeling it on that thigh? That right thigh? All right. Okay, good. <laughs> Release the arms, bring them all the way up in crescent. Open up warrior two. Good. Finding warrior two, really. Reaching the arms out, chest, tuck the hips. Release the back hand, peaceful warrior. Sink in. Come through, extended side angle. Open up, maybe lift the shell. Lowering the hand, if you want to do some arm circles before we bind. The right hand is on the outside of the right foot. Reverse the circles. Really make them big, feel the chest lifting. And then a bind, that ought to be nice arm opening to move into the bind. Good. You can go a little lower. And then release the hands. Lift that back foot up for half moon. See if you can lift the fingers up. Little balance challenge. Come back down, four your two. Yeah. Nice big inhale and then wave the hand, taking a vinyasa. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up, reaching and sink into chair. Fire up those glutes. Doing a lot of leg work today. Inhale, bring it up. Maybe come up on your toes for balance. Squeeze those glutes and the tummy. Exhale, come all the way back down in chair. Hands in prayer. Let's do another twist. Inhale, twisting to the right. To the center. Inhale and exhale, twist to the left. Come to the center. This time, right hand and the eagle above. Lifting that right foot, take it slow if you can, moving into crescent. Enjoying that balance, good job. So let's do four 
fold in crescent, lifting the eagle arms up. When you come up, feel that core, feel that stretch all the way up your ribs, knitting in. Two. Three. Four. And coming back up into crescent, open up where you two on the left side. Sink it. Release the back hand, flip the front, peaceful warrior. And come through, extended side angle. Open up here. Maybe lift the shelf. Reaching. Lower the hand. Then we open up the chest and do the circles one way and then the other. And then finding your bind. As the bind gets easier, try to move the hands closer toward the knees instead of at the crotch level. It helps frame you to open up your chest more. Then release the hands. Bring that back foot up for half moon. Hand on hip, open up, open the hips. Feel the core, maybe a balance challenge here. Every side is truly different. And then we're gonna come into warrior two. Yeah, hold it, hold it, that was good. Warrior two, holding here. Nice big inhale then. Let's turn the feet toward the center, hands on hips. Prasarita Padatanasana. Forward fold, but hinging first before we fold all the way down. Press those shoulders back. Reach out, telescoping spine. Maybe you feel your hands pressing on the creases in your legs as your shoulders press back and your neck reaches forward. Just explore in your body how this feels. And then exhale, folding down, release your arms. Yes. <sighs> Straighten that left hand. Inhale that right hand up. Beautiful twist. Create space in the upper back, upper body. Now on your exhale, fold the torso down, slide that left hand over to hold the foot, the toe, the ankle of the right foot. Every exhale brings you closer. And then bring the hands down, maybe a little skandhasana. We'll do more in a minute. Place the right hand in the center. Inhale, left hand up. Same thing, this side. Really feel the more you have, you feel like you have this pose, the more we can challenge, the more twist, more open the shoulders, plant the hand, reach up with the fingertips. Now slide the right hand toward the left foot and lower the torso. Different stretch. Oh. And bring both hands down, take a skandhasana, or two or three. And then just walk the hands around to the front, take a vinyasa. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale, walk. Step or jump forward. Inhale and half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Last chair, sink into it low, go low. Fold it, see if you can go a little lower. You should be really warm now. And exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands under your feet now, the Padahastasana. Massage your wrists, massage your hands.
And before we go into some other stuff, we're going to add something fun here. So with straight legs, it's more challenging. This is really good for the brain and balance. So hands around the wrist and just straight legs. See if you can walk back, up and down. It's harder than it looks. Meeting up at the front. Let's just inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, take your vinyasa. Inhaling, right leg all the way up. We're gonna move into fallen triangle. So we're gonna take that right leg through the left arm, but hold it up, hold it here. Maybe you wanna reach with the left hand, the right, these fingers with the right toe, and bring that leg out. We're just gonna fall. So what, the left foot fall, and then open up. And then come down, place the hands down, and bring the foot back for side plank. I'm gonna lift the leg up. And then roll over to plank for three push-ups. Press back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Please stretch. Bring it under through and hold it. That knee underneath the fallen triangle, maybe. Maybe grab the foot. Wiggle in, open up the fallen triangle. And bring that right hand down. Bring that foot back. And brush the sauce in a side piece. Fasting and teaching yoga. Are challenging. <laughs> Come into plank and forearm plank. And let's do five knee to elbow. Five on the right side. Four, three, two, one. Left side. Five, four, three, two, one. And just lower all the way down. Ah, head to the side for locust. Inhale, bring it up. Easy to first one. Hold it. Exhale, the other cheek. Next inhale, bring it up higher. Three more breaths. Hold it. Two. Three. Lower. Bend the knees, crocodile. Just get some nice relaxation for the back. And then lower the legs for the hands in cobra position by the chest. Sweep that left hand out. Push over with the right. So we're getting a nice shoulder stretch and hip stretch. Two more breaths. Roll over. Other hand comes in. Right hand takes out this time. Left hand and that cover arm pushes you over. And the left leg bends. And you just relax in this shoulder opener, hip opener. Breaths. 
Go all the way up on the belly. Let's press back up onto the knees. Come all the way up. We're moving toward camel. Nice back bend. So if you want to start in yoga pockets, fire in the belly. Hips and thighs move forward and lower back when you're ready. Lifting the chest. Enjoy every degree of this. Especially in back bend, you don't want to just swoop down. And ease into it with core, with mindfulness. Feeling the vertebrae extend, reaching out, ribs expanding. Inhale, come up. Maybe shake your arms out. This time, if you want to go a little lower, press back on your heels. Just make sure you press your hips and thighs back up and then lower. About five breaths here. Gently coming all the way up. And let's just come down into puppy pose. So, you can just do a restful puppy, or you can take your chin, you can slide your hands and get your chin and chest on the floor. Just a few breaths here. And then walk your hands back up into tabletop. Roll the hips, whatever you want to do. Maybe another cow and cat. And come back down into seated. Stand off in a staff pose. So from staff, feel the body extended. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Exhale, hinge. And fold. Holding here. Slowly inhaling up. Let's open those legs up wide. Lift the chest. Let's go ahead and bring the hands up in prayer. Nice inhale, straighten. Exhale, twist to the left and hinge first and then hold. Inhale, bring those hands up in prayer. Press the shoulders down. Turn the torso around, flex the feet, hinge on the right side, and then fold. Trying to keep the sits bones grounded. That's a challenge. Inhale, bring that left hand up, right hand follows it. In prayer, really straighten that body. Exhale, bring the hands down, and then spread the fingers and slide forward. Just allowing the breath to help you lower with ease into this, into this beautiful straddle. Just breathing, opening the muscles in the inner thighs. Maybe you reach out and can touch your toes or grab your toes with peace fingers. And just before you come up, just hit belly, activate the arms and feel the spine, telescoping forward and then release. Come up, inhale, arms up and bring the feet together for Baya Konasana. Coming out of this, bring the knees together, relax back on your hands and just get a little narrow and nice and nice.
And then let's move into boat. So let's see, before we do boat, these are fun. I like the rock and roll. So behind, let's just do a couple of rock and roll. And then once you get going and it feels good, see if you can release your hands and not touch your toes on the mat. So just as it, we're gonna end up in boat. So just doing a little of this rocking back and forth and then finding boat. Good. Holding here. Maybe lowering the toes down, or so down, canoe, up to boat. Canoe, up to boat. Canoe, up to boat. Cross the right leg over the left. Bring those knees in. Really activate the arms and the chest. Feel everything opening up. Nice big breath. Exhale, bring it up. Boat, hold it. Left over right. Bring it in, squeeze it in. Activate those arms. Bring it up to boat. Lower down into canoe and we're going to paddle and pedal because that cross body stuff is so good for the brain. And then bring your knees into your chest and squeeze. And slowly bring your legs out the boat and slowly come down all the way down to the mat on your timing. Constructive rest, so feet are on the outside edges of the mat, knees together, open your arms up wide, lift the chest up, and then do some windshield wipers with the knees. Knees to one way, head the other. And then bring the knees up and let's do supine pigeon. Take the right ankle underneath or on top of, however, on top of that left thigh, left the hands behind the left thigh. The shoulder encourages the right leg to open up. You know the drill. Just breathe into this and find a little bit of a challenge. And then release that foot down. And when still in this position, just go ahead and roll over and get a nice twist from that cross leg from pigeon. So shoulders on the mat, lovely twist. Three nice long breaths here. Inhale, bring the legs up. Unwind, feet down, left ankle over right thigh, bring it up into pigeon. Two more breaths. And then let that side roll over to the left side. A little more breaths. Inhale, bring it back up. Unwind, hug your knees, drop from side to side. If you want to do a bridge, a shoulder stand, happy baby, that, hmm, we really are out of time, but I'm not in a hurry. If you don't mind, we can take a couple extra minutes and do what you want to do. You're going in happy baby, that works for me. <laughs> Rock from side to side, press the whole spine onto the mat. We got started a minute late. And then if there's anything else that you want to do, go for it. Otherwise, squeeze those knees in, press that lower back down, and then maybe squeeze and press and then release and squeeze and press and then release. And then just with control, releasing your legs all the way down 
Open your arms out, bring them up, a nice big inhale, flex and point your feet. And then tense everything up, make fists with your wrists, really just tense every muscle in your body. And then bring the hands by the side, finding complete relaxation with the exhale. Just last thing, take the toes, let them kiss, and then fall apart. Closing your eyes, finding Shavasana. Feeling the breath coming back into your body, feeling tangling into your fingers and toes, finding small movements. <coughs> <coughs> Taking a nice big stretch. <coughs> <coughs> Arms, legs, bring your knees in, give yourself a big hug. <coughs> Rock over onto your favorite side. <coughs> Come down your throat. Press your hands down. Press yourself up to meet me in easy seated. Thank you, Betsy. I love practicing with you. Thank you. Inhaling, bringing hands up to sky, reaching up, feeling the power and the work you've done, pressing the shoulders down, torso, navel, still active, really, really reach this last few seconds in gratitude. Inhale, exhale, hands to forehead. Let's say, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Inhale to prepare. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And to heart center. May the light in me always honor the light in you. Namaste.